Hey, this is Jacob from Thin Air 3D, and this is going to be a super quick tutorial on how to get some very simple threads onto your 3D models for 3D printing in Fusion 360. Um, this is aimed for people that have a little bit more experience with Fusion 360, although it will be very uh, short and sweet and pretty simple. I do have another video that's a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to model. Um, this is actually a cotton swab box, and it's going to have threads and, and be 3D printable, but I wanted this video to be more short and sweet, just something that you could use to be able to start modeling your own threads on your own models. So let's just jump right into it. It's, uh, it's very simple. This is the box and this is the lid. So um, to get the threads, you just go to your create menu and then select thread. And then you just select the surface that you want to apply the threads to. And first thing, this modeled checkbox needs to be checked. Uh, that will make it actually printable geometry rather than just showing it. Um, but then from there, you just have to select your pitch. So let me go to a front view. Um, now, in case you're unaware, the pitch is the distance between your your outermost sections on your threads, and the further the pitch, or the, the larger the pitch, obviously, the deeper the cut. Um, right now, it is an M68 by 6, so the outer diameter is 68 millimeters, and the pitch is 6 millimeters. Um, this whole section is only 15 millimeters long. Obviously, a 6 pitch is, or 6 millimeter pitch is way too much. So let's lower it. It's going to give you some options. Let's do a uh, M68 by 3 for this specific application. Um, it's going to change for every different model you do. Uh, you, you may end up just having to play with it, but a lot of times you can kind of figure out what's appropriate pretty quickly. Um, but from there, if you wanted a left hand thread, you can just change this to left hand. Uh, you just have to make sure that your, uh, you know, your male and female pieces both have the same um, designation and the same direction. But you just hit OK, and then we are going to do a thread on the top lid. So I'm just going to right click, go up to repeat thread, and then select this inner surface. Click the modeled checkbox, and then change this to M68 by 3, and hit OK. So we've got the threads modeled in, and this is printable, but we want to add some clearances in. So it's nice and smooth, and so it'll actually work for us. Um, I usually like to add the clearances on, in on the lid, but that's just a preference. So we're going to select these surfaces. Um, we're going to select this one, and then holding shift, select this one, rotate around, select this one, and this one. So all four inner surfaces of that thread pattern, we're going to select, and then we're going to just go to push-pull. And um, I'm going to do a minus 0.3. That usually works pretty well for me on a lot of threads. Um, sometimes it needs to be a little more, sometimes it can be a bit less, but that's a really good baseline that you can uh, definitely print off with. And if that for some reason isn't working for you or if it's too tight or whatever, maybe too loose, all you gotta do is come back in here, right click, edit feature on that push pull, and uh, you can just change this to like a minus 0.4 or whatever you want. Really doesn't make a difference, um, you know, on the first one, obviously, because you're just going to have to see what works well for you. And uh, it's dependent on how well your printer is dialed in and, you know, just the model itself. There's a lot of things going on. But one last thing really quick, I want to show you how to visual or a quick way to visualize it and make sure that everything's lined up correctly. So um, I just I moved this up a little bit ago. I'm going to um, move that back down into place really quick and then show you what I mean by being able to visualize this so okay so we've got that back in place um, and then to be able to see if the threads are lining up and everything all we got to do is go to inspect and then bring up a section analysis and then I'm going to choose this plane and hit OK and now we've got a good cutaway view of what's going on um, and obviously this looks messed up but it's actually not I know that they are the same you know they're both m68 by 3 it's just because of the rotation is off um, because the, the where the thread pattern started. So to quickly fix that, all we got to do is rotate our lid. So I'm just going to go to move slash copy, change this to rotate, select the lid, and then um, select the axis of rotation. And then I'm just going to spin this around until it is lined up. I think it's 180. 180 degrees. Click OK. And then boom, look at that. We are looking pretty good, I would say. Um, and then, like I said, this is a pretty good visualization that you can do. So like, for instance, I can go back here, right click um, and change this back to like a minus 0.3. And you can look and see it's a little bit closer, but um, really, you know, that's just stuff that you're gonna have to play with and see what works best for your model. And to hide that analysis view, you just go up here and click hide for analysis view. 
and everything should be good to go. Um, it should print. Like I said, 0.3 usually works well for me. Maybe different for your application. Um, but if, you, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do have a full step-by-step -step tutorial on creating a box very similar to this. So if you want to follow along with that, that one may be a bit more beginner friendly and a little bit slower. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely subscribe if you want to check out more videos like this because I'll I'll keep posting and I would appreciate any recommendations that you may have or anything that you want to learn or see modeled yourself.